Good morning. It's not the sun beaming down on, the, on me, if only. It's just the light. Anyway, hope we are well. Quick one today, based on a conversation we had yesterday. We have uh, coaching rooms in the Kickstart where you can just come in and just ask questions, anything you want. Um, at any time, if you need them, we just open the Zoom room. You can just come in, ask questions um, in a private room. And one of the things we went over yesterday was what to do. When the question, what to do when I'm not in the right headspace, when I just don't care about my health, my fitness, I don't even care about it. Like, even if I'm just eating rubbish, I don't care about it. And, I, and then we went through it, and this was based on last week. Um, she said she had four days of um, you know, not really in the right headspace. And a lot of people say this. I had a lot of um, uh, questions and, and kind of back and forth with a few of the ladies yesterday who were thinking about doing our free five-day kickstart um, who follow us, follow me, and they just said, I'm not sure if it's the right time. I work full-time. Um, I'm not in the right headspace. And this might sound odd, but I just want to share why, why it could be a good thing if you're not in the right headspace. And here's why. Because if you're not in the right headspace, morning, Stella, as what happened with the lady I, met, I spoke to yesterday, and with many ladies that have worked with us before, when you're not in the right headspace and you do something and you're aware of what you're doing and you get out of that, you now create a strategy to know that, okay, when I'm not in the right headspace, I know I need to do this. So what she did, in essence, the one thing that got her out of it was going for a walk, which is so simple. It made her feel better, changed her state. Now, the key thing with this is she also then lowered her expectations of her three things she wanted to do each day, which is amazing. By lowering her expectations, she was able to build her confidence. Here's the three things I'm going to do today. I know I've done more in the past, but I'm going to be okay with these three today because day one is all that exists right now. I'm just going to treat today as day one. No judgment of what I used to do, what I did pre-COVID, what I did on my best day, because that's what's stopping you even starting. And little do we know, we're actually getting further away from where we were because we're not doing what we were. I'll repeat that. We're getting further away from where we were because we're not doing what we were. And you might think, well, what's the point? In that. What's the point in a one minute workout? What's the point in a 10 minute workout? But in the same conversation we can have is sometimes someone will say, I don't have the time to do it. Yet the workouts in the five day kickstart are 10 minutes long and the task will take you about five minutes a day to really refocus, regroup and get the results you want. If you want more of that, I'm then live in the evening to go over any questions that you have to put together a bit more personal advice and go over your situation a bit more on the topic and what you need help with. And the, remember this, you might think, you might think that, you might think that it's pointless. You might think that it's pointless. You might think that the little habits are pointless. And just to help you make your own decision on this, what I want you to do is every time it comes in your head that you think, oh, what's the point? Write down, what's the point? Little topic header, little topic header, like on a post-it note. You could write down what's the point. And then underneath that, so you've got what's the point at the top. Then underneath that, write down all the things that you said were pointless. It could be a 10 minute workout today. It could be that drinking water before each meal. Whatever it is, it's got to be personal to you. It could be planning your snacks. It could be walk at lunchtime. All these things, okay? What's the point? And then just make a choice. I'm not going to decide what the answer is. You've got to come up with your decision. Add up all these what's the points. And then make a choice. Add up all the what's the points. And then make a point. Is it a point? Is, it, is there no point to it? And then consider who else benefits from the above. What, how do you feel when you do those things? How do you feel when you do those things? <clears throat> What's your energy like? And when you've got more energy, who else benefits from you? Who else can you add value to their life? Whose life can you impact with this energy? Can you be a better role model to someone? Can you help someone that you, like you wanted to? All these things. Stella, I need results. The walk looks good and confidence treat day one today. Yes. 
I get further and further away, and yes, I think that, I think, what's the point? And so it goes on. Uh, revelation, what's the point theory? That's how I think these days. Yeah, okay, so choice. This is a realization. Yeah, we have a choice. I'm going to work on that today. Perfect. Consider the benefits of the choice. It's been so long since I felt good, so I'm going to do this. Perfect, Stella. Just go and just get the facts down. What's the point? Today, whenever you think, what's the point? Consider what you're referring to. Are you referring to going for a walk, a one-minute workout, stopping at five biscuits instead of ten? Whatever it is, just write it down. When, you, when that thought comes in your head, have a little post-it note next to you, like, what's the point? And just write it down. Consider how much that adds up. Because if you stopped at five biscuits instead of ten, did a ten-minute workout, had a glass of water before each meal, you could add them all those things up, and they could impact to maybe 400-odd, 500 calories across a day, potentially. All of a sudden, that's a pound a week. And then we're talking results. Then we're talking over a, over a year or so. You know, you're talking over two stone. Is there any point in that? Then you're thinking clinical significance, blood pressure, cholesterol. Not to mention mental health, like right here, right now, the way we feel, who we can impact. I hope that helps. And these are the things we're going to be talking about in the five day kickstart, which starts on Monday, the 15th of February. It's a free five day kickstart. I've put a link in the description on here. So if you do want more information on, the, on that, go there, click to register, and then you'll get all the details in from there. Cool. Okay, that's a new way for me to think. Awesome, Stella. Great stuff. Any questions on that, do let me know. And let's... Rock and roll. Control what you can. Treat today as day one. That's all you have to do. Take care and make it a great day. Okay?